So when I was 23, I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. So I went in to see the doctor and the colonoscopy found I had a large tumor almost obstructing my colon. Just had some mild symptoms that most of the time I was ignoring. It wasn't until I had blood in my stool that I realized something might be wrong. And so from that point, my life was totally turned upside down. I remember it was really difficult, like looking at the st statistics because um, I wasn't really big on those because being in nursing school and um, it was like 69% chance of living for five years. And I, I looked at that as like, I have a 30% chance of dying. When I first met her in the hospital, I remember how young she was. They actually showed me the pictures from the colonoscopy and I said, this is cancer. We did the procedure through three little trocar sites, you know, two of them the diameter of a number two yellow pencil. Everything went very well. She was out of the hospital in about three days. She was up and moving by the time we left the hospital. She didn't leave in a wheelchair or anything like that. <laughs> From having the minimally invasive surgery, I felt that I was able to he like be healed and feel like myself again. I was back in school taking the stairs and the subway within two weeks. So there's my scar, my itty bitty scar. I was taken down to the ER and they did a CAT scan that showed that my bowel had twisted and they told me, you're going to require surgery and it's going to be open. This was when I just had gotten home. I couldn't, you know, do any type of lifting, like going to get groceries, I couldn't do any of that because I just always had this fear that something was gonna just open up, which in fact it did. And then this is once the incision opened up. And when I woke up, I quickly realized that it was a lot more painful. <laughs> when I got home, I expected that I would follow the same path as the minimally invasive surgery. And in no time, I'd be back at the gym and back, you know, running. But I quickly realized that wasn't the case. And I definitely felt like, depressed. I couldn't get back to feeling like myself again. I would honestly say out of all of the stuff I went through with my cancer, including chemo, that was one of the hardest parts, was having to heal up from that surgery. There's no question that if you have the ability to do minimally invasive surgery, you should consider it. Less pain medication, shorter hospitalizations, and overall, much shorter recovery time. I think you're a little higher in the, in the stud department. I would never say I'm thankful for having cancer, but I'm thankful for the perspective it gave me. The whole experience has just helped us to just always try and find the good in life and just stay positive.